sometimes your Wi-Fi might not have the optimum reach. So to extend the Wi-Fi, you can buy a Wi-Fi extender. And I have one here, very interesting little device from Rockspace, the AC1200, that allows you to extend your Wi-Fi, as you can see here on the picture. So I will unbox it right now and test it out. So let's get started. So here it is, the little packaging that says a Rockspace AC1200 dual band Wi-Fi repeater. Works with any router and is easy to set up. 100% genuine product. And what do we have else here? Rockspace. We have the small graphic that shows how it is uh, uh, doing their Wi-Fi extension. So if you have a wireless router, you have to put it at the edge of the wireless router's reach and then you can extend your Wi-Fi. I opened up the box already once, so let's get this open up here again another time. Get this little box out of here. And then we have a nice little flap here. We can open this up and then we see already the Wi-Fi repeater. Let's take this on the side. Let's take here a look what we get. We get like quick start guides in various different languages and warranty cards and so on. Uh, as you can see here, uh, everything that you want to have, even English speaking one as well. And that is basically it. There is something in the box for if you want to write a review to Rock Space, you can do so um, to this email address and then they will listen. Also, you can have nice support. You can ask them if something is not working. Now to the Wi-Fi repeater itself. It looks pretty yeah, cool from the design. You can see it has a U plug here. It's pretty compact. It has those antennas that you can uh, adjust the way you want to. Dual band, so it has two antennas. Now it has two antennas because yeah, uh, one is for receiving, one is for sending, I think. Then we have some LEDs on the front for signal, WPS, power, and we have the WPS button. WPS is the possibility to quickly pair your router with another device if you press the WPS button here and on the other device they can find themselves. And yeah, if you don't want to do this, you can of course also plug in a normal, um, normal Ethernet cable here. And this one has, I think, 100 megabit per second output or input. You can use it for both ways. So you can put in this uh, cable in here and then use the antennas to uh, get the signal from here out to your devices. Or you can use it the other way around. So you have an, uh, the antenna get the signal in and then you have your laptop, PC, computer, um, PlayStation, Switch or whatever you have want to have gaming consoles uh, attached via cable to the network. So this is also possible. Yeah, this is how the device looks like. What do we have else here? Some uh, SSID specification on the top. There's also, um, they're mentioning the SSID and the uh, default access to the uh, device. And this is necessary. The RE rockspace.local is the address you have to call when you plug it in to the a router and connect to this SSID. So I will do this right now and I will show you how this will work. We have our device now here and I decided to plug it into this power socket. So all I want to do is just uh, have this here on video so I remember where I have to connect to Rockspace X and uh, the default access is re.rockspace.local and what I want to do now is just plug it in and you will see it now powering up and it will then show the power LED, which is nice. I can open up, of course, the antennas uh, going straight up might be better. And it is blinking now. And yeah, I think it's ready now and we can start connecting to it. So let's see what the Wi-Fi says. So the next step is 
to configure your Wi-Fi repeater. I'm here on my tablet, so you don't need to have a computer or a PC or laptop, anything like this. You can use your tablet as well. I'm using my MatePad 11 here, uh, running Harmony OS. The first thing I have to do is connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, let it scan and then it should find the Rockspace X Wi-Fi. It's an open Wi-Fi. We can connect to this and you can see connected no internet doesn't matter because we want to configure it then we go to our web browser we type in the website's name uh, rerockspace.local as written as printed on the device itself and then it will come to this login page where we can create a nice little uh, login password so we will take like a very uh, uh, very quick and easy one for now for demonstration purposes hit on next it is scanning now for wi-fi networks and what we can do now is to say which wi-fi network we want to extend and i say okay i want to extend this one here with a five gigahertz network and you can see it gets another uh, extended id uh, which would be uh, led gigacube 5g 5g extended and uh, i have to enter of course the password here which I will do and uh, then we can click on extend and I click on extend it says extending and we can of course set the SSID to something else but for testing purposes it's good to uh, allow the devices to connect first to the extended network later on you can always change the uh, ID if you want to now the extended IDs are LL Gigacube 5G X and other gigacube 5g 5g x uh, where you have like the 4 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz then what we have here as well as the uh, notice uh, under point two if we have a blue led then we have proper positioning proper signal if we have a red one then we have to move closer to the router because the signal is too weak and if it's off then we yeah uh, have to move closer to the wi-fi router so these are the options and this is basically everything this is how quickly you can get your Wi-Fi repeater working. Uh, nothing big, fancy that you need to do after this. That is basically everything. The only thing yet that you can do now is like trying to connect to those Gigacube extended um, networks via the phone, via the tablet or something else. And you will see that you will have internet. So what we can do now is I can show you, demonstrate it to you. It has like switched to LL5G here, which is another network that I have, but I can also switch to the 5G one. Let's take this one here. I have to enter a password. As it is extending your original LL Gigacube 5G network in this case, it's using the same password as well. So you have to enter the password here again. And after you entered your password, you can click connect and it should connect fine with this extended internet and it's working as you can see it says connected and internet is working i can go to my web browser i can open up a new tablet browse to google for example as you can see here it is working just fine so this is how you can easily connect up the wi-fi repeater to your existing wi-fi network another thing that we want to do now after we checked everything is configure and see what configuring options we have for the Rockspace AC1200. So we just go to the re.rockspace.local website again. When we are in the extended um, internet, for example, we can reach it via this web website uh, because the other extended network is gone. So we, it's the only possibility to get there. And we can choose our um, language here. You can see that I only can choose... No. Nah. Yeah, I can choose various different languages here that are available. So choose the one that you like. I will stick to English here. I will enter my super secret password here that I uh, used for the first login here. Uh, don't save it. And what I can see here is now the status uh, the, of the repeater mode. So the connection to the internet. Here you can see it is connecting to those two networks in 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. It has 66% coverage and uh, on the 2.4 and 86% uh, on the 5 gigahertz one. And when I go to my client, you can see it has basically 100% coverage. 
and this is how the connection works and this is a nice pictogram that shows how the internet connection works this is your original wi-fi router this is the repeater and this is your client right now and these are the networks as you can see here we have one attached device here we can see uh, a blacklist if you don't want to have a device attached to this wi-fi repeater you can change this here otherwise you have some other options like re-extend where I have the possibility to choose another Wi-Fi network to extend. And of course, I have uh, some other options uh, like Wi-Fi settings where I can choose also to rename the SSID. So what I would recommend for people that uh, don't want to like have various different SSIDs for the, for the repeater and their normal network from the router, just leave it the same name I'll give it the same name as the normal router. In theory, with modern new products, but also in practice, this will work so that the smartphone, the computer, the tablet is intelligent enough to figure out which of those Wi-Fi's that have the same name uh, to use, which has the better strength, and then it will use it automatically so you don't have to um, uh, yeah, just add a new Wi-Fi and uh, enter the password and so on. So this is what I would... Uh, recommend you to do so I will use for the 2.4 gigahertz this name and for the 5 gigahertz name I will use this one here click on save and save successfully and uh, I think it applied it as well let's see yeah it applied it directly so I'm not connected to Wi-Fi anymore and I have the possibility to connect to LL Gigacube and LL Gigacube 5G and it would be interesting to see if if it would pick up you connect it now to a little cube okay if it will pick up the uh, router the, the wi-fi repeater here or the router uh, so let's uh, do this here again and you can see it picked up uh, the router because it is a bit um, closer by so it's automatically picking up what is closer by but if i move it to another room where i don't have wi-fi i can reconnect it and have some other settings that i can show you so we are back on the configuration uh, site and you might hear some rain in the background it's like raining super crazy here i'm in a different room now so i can connect again to this repeater and we can see here the uh, changes in terms of signal quality and uh, what we have here besides the wi-fi setting itself what I showed you before is the operation mode so we can have repeater mode but what we can also do with this one is the AP mode the AP mode allows you to convert a wired network into a wireless network so if you don't have a Wi-Fi wi router or something like this nearly impossible but if you want to create from a wired network a wireless network you have the ability to do this here again just plug in the cable into the Wi-Fi repeater and then it will wirelessly um, allow you to um, yeah, get the signal from the cable out to your clients. So this is possible but the repeat, repeater mode is what I'm using right now. So that means if I plug in something via the Ethernet plug it will use uh, the internet from the Wi-Fi. I have some administration options here. I can of course change the password to make it more secure. I will do this of course after this video. I have the option to reboot the device if it's like acting up or something or even resetting the device if I want to sell it or give it away to a friend who wants to use it. And I can also export the syslog and also do a firmware upgrade. Current firmware version is 0.1.0 uh, I think and uh, firmware update. Uh, allows you to um, download the update so you have to manually download the update and then at, uh, click here allow and then if you have the a firmware update file you can just uh, add it here and click on save it will then update the firmware but it's working nicely as you can see here that is uh, in repeater mode currently and the repeater mode is working nicely and now I have also a nice internet uh, connection with my PlayStation playstations my uh, nintendo switch my television even that has a weaker wi-fi antenna 
and so on. And as I have like dual band, I can use 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So also for older devices like the Switch, like my television that only have 2.4 gigahertz, they can use this as extended extension as well. So, so far it works pretty nice and I have a good um, yeah, Wi-Fi coverage with this. And yeah, so far for the price, especially if you take a look at the internet for the price, how easy it is to set up and how good it works so far, I would say it is definitely a device to take a look at, especially if you have problems with Wi-Fi. Uh, you can take a look at the Rockspace AC1200. That is everything for this video. If you have some questions, you can ask them in the uh, comment section. Otherwise, have a nice day and until the next time, bye.